I graduated in 67 and didn't know what I wanted to do with myself, to be honest with you. My dad wanted me to be a lawyer. I'm not sure I did. I was actually, you know, to be honest, more interested in either being a journalist or getting in the movie business. I was very interested in movies. I took a job teaching just to, to you know, feed myself. I received a packet in the mail. It was actually a rather large packet of copies. Bill's rather famous for mailing out copies. And I still have that packet of, of copies, and I don't think I've ever read it. But the sheer volume of the, uh, the copy material uh, made me realize how important the uh, subject matter of abusive lending was and how important it was to Bill Brennan. I was at a PTA meeting of our school and everybody was crying and I, in that month and I, 68, and I thought, what's, what's wrong? And they said, Martin Luther King has been shot in Memphis and oh, it just stunned me. And, uh, you know, most of our kids were poor kids and so I felt like I was maybe helping to do something then, but I, I realized, wow, this, I started realizing more than ever, look what this man has done and I marched in his funeral. And then I said, I've got to use my law degree to do something. And while I was thinking about it, I heard about Atlanta Legal Aid uh, again. I heard Michael Padnos on the radio talking. He was the new director. The next day, I went to see him and asked for a job, and I got it. I was so lucky to get it, and that's how I started. I came along right at the time when they were now starting to hire uh, these idealistic lawyers right out of law school. Being a little country boy from Mississippi, I was thrown in here with all these uh, raging Bolsheviks. We weren't Bolsheviks, but we were, um, although I'm, I just have to add, we've certainly had an opportunity to see how capitalism works. I've been, I've been watching how capitalism works since the day I started working here, and it's a real education because it definitely has a negative, um, terrible impact on people's lives in so many ways. In 2000, Bill Brennan went to Congress and told Congress that if they allowed Fannie and Freddie to get into the subprime mortgages, that it would snowball. And if there was any sort of dip in the economy, that you would have a huge recession and that Congress would have to bail them out. And that's exactly what happened. I mean, it would have been stopped if they'd listened. <laughs> Bill has always been in favor of talking to reporters, both at the Atlanta Journal-Constitution and the national print media and TV and radio, and telling our clients' stories so that more people hear about it and it can make a bigger impact and get policymakers and members of the community to want to make a change. Bill Brennan, who has continuously throughout his career recognized the housing problems of low-income people in a, in a just I think insightful and incisive way that is so striking. The interests of the, of the big financial powerhouses is first and foremost in everybody's mind. Seniors losing their homes, low-income homeowners who are struggling to hang on to their homes come last, always last. When you speak to Bill uh, uh, on the phone, he seems like a very young man. His voice is uh, full of enthusiasm and optimism and passion, and uh, he sounds quite young. Uh, so I imagine that he was probably um, about my age in his early 30s or even younger. Bill Brennan uh, still is with Legal Aid, uh, has less hair than I have, uh, and I, I, I guess rather exemplifies the standard of the type of lawyer that Legal Aid has had or aspires to have. It was really help the client, you know, solve the client's problem, get a good result, but also try to reform the system. That was what was the sense overall of what was. I mean, people were very excited working around the clock, working all the time, having, really having fun. <laughs> Once you learn about everything that Bill has done, and when you meet Bill, and you know that even after 30 or 40 years, he is still outraged every time he hears a client tell a story. He's outraged. He's shocked after 30 years. I love Bill Brennan.